Um, Kathy, what can he be doing to amp up his social media? Well, you know, I, I love the story about you being a jazz musician. Mm -hmm. Social media is, it, it, it can be really complex for people, especially for CPAs. Mm -hmm. And you're absolutely right. CPAs are um, a bit of a late adopter. That's us. Yeah. Uh, you guys want to, you know, wait and, and let everybody else kind of test stuff out. It's not mm -hmm. a bad way to be. Um, well, you know, in some ways it's not the ideal. Uh, I mean, always waiting for somebody else to uh, be the pioneer. So you don't, sometimes you don't reap the rewards. Yeah. Sometimes. It's not bad. You know, industries out there that are not CPAs, that that's their job is to be the frontier. So mm -hmm. I like CPAs being a little bit more stable, so no mm -hmm. problem there. Okay. Now, what you can do is, because you have such a stellar reputation, because your clients are being cited, as companies that grow, mm -hmm. there are two things that I found that you can do immediately, like as soon as you get back to your office. Okay. <laughs> and you can actually have your staff do it. It's not something that you have to do. There's one for your staff and one for you. All right. The thing for your staff, we'll talk about that first, mm -hmm. is your old radio shows. You can tra get those transcribed. Mm -hmm. And you can immediately take those radio shows, get those transcribed, and that's immediately blog articles that right. you can push right out to your social media. Mm -hmm. And that's, some, that's a real quick and easy project because you answered questions on the radio from guests. Right. That is solving problems. We talked about that earlier. Mm -hmm. That's solving problems like people want, like consumers want. They want to go to your blog. They want to see your social media. They want mm -hmm. you to solve problems. The second thing that you can do is whenever you're going to play jazz, post it on Facebook. Yeah, I should. <laughs> Let us know where you're going. I because should do that. You know, we want to know mm -hmm. the artistic side of our CPA. That makes mm -hmm. you even more delicious. Well, thank you. It's, uh, you know, as I said before, it's, it's um, something that actually, I think, helps me in my, in my tax world. Um, I don't know. It, it's, it, maybe it's a way of looking at something or being able to approach something in a different way. Uh, I think so. I know a lot of technical folks that also have an artistic side, and it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. It really helps them come back into such a structured environment and mm -hmm. maybe have a new look at it. So you're probably an even better CPA because you have this artistic side of you. Okay, well, let's tell that to my wife so she can <laughs> 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 we'll get to play more. Yay! <laughs> there you go. Tell her it's marketing for it's my marketing. business. I have That's to it. go play. Well, if there were, if, is, there, is there one or two little tips that you could throw out to try to, to make sure that the business owners are, are really tackling right now? Uh, well, you know, we just had this fiscal cliff stuff. And, uh, you know, right now you need to, uh, you know, this stuff wasn't actually signed until, I, I think, January 1st in the wee hours of the morning. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, we've been dealing with two sets of rules. Uh, we need to take a, a look back at what you've done and see if, if any of the things you've done actually uh, come into play with these new sets of rules. Um, one of the things, uh, you know, there's uh, this 50% bonus was a big surprise for us. Uh, so some people are going to be able to take advantage, take large advantages from this 50% bonus depreciation. So Now, when you say 50% bonus, just to cl uh, clarify, um, I guess they should connect to you if they want a clarification. Yeah, I, I don't want to sit there and talk about uh, details <laughs> 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 right now. <laughs> we lose everybody. No, no worries on that. I know that as we, get, we come into this, this last segment of the show, we're going to talk more about, you know, how to connect to Jeff and then what the process is that he walks through with each of his clients to make sure that they're taken care of. You know, the business spotlight, I'm so thankful that we're in Dallas and Fort Worth. We're in Houston, and then we blast it out on the Internet. If you're wanting to be on the show, you ought to call me. But we'll be right back after these messages from our sponsors.